Go! Yay! Woo! Yeah! Oh! Hi guys, Manav here and I welcome you all to Kridas. In this video, we are going to talk about our very recent hike to the Brigu Lake near Manali. Okay, now let's talk about day one. For the Brigu Lake trek, we started from Dhungri village at 6.40 am. We walked for 5 kilometers and reached Vashisht, which acts as the base village for this trek. Now guys, the trek starts from this temple itself. For this particular video, I recorded the trail on the Android app called Strava. Now if you want to, you can follow the same trail by downloading the map from the profile on Strava, which goes by the name Manvendra Singh. Now guys, the initial trail is wide, open and well laid. So guys, now we have entered the forest section and it is going to be an all-in-all -all forest trek from here onwards. So guys, you have to be very careful when you traverse these small, small sections because if you slip it will be really really difficult for you to arrest yourself who are you <laughs> jungle mera hai. how long you have been staying in this tree i, I am the tree <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to avoid these snow patches and we are just trying to circumvent them because this surface has more grip and since the sun is out here now this becomes a little risky and if it can be avoided you should avoid it at all times mm. Mm. So guys, we have started our trek after a quick bite. This is actually a ski slope. So many people just heli drop here when there is huge amount of snow and they practice skiing. This place is extremely peaceful and we are gaining a lot and lot of height. That's where we need to go! We found something! No, this is not blood. Yeah, so guys, we have stopped for a quick peanut break. And guys, roasted peanuts and jaggery are the best food to have on trail. So guys, now since the tree line is going to end we will soon cross 11,000 feet and after that we'll have snow and loads and loads of snow and this direct sunlight is going to make the snow slushy and therefore it is necessary for us that we put on our gaiters which will help us walk fast without bothering about snow entering into our shoes okay so now guys as you can see Izar is carrying a lighter backpack and therefore he's the one who's opening up the route and I'm just following his footsteps Oh my god! What a day it is! <laughs> Guys, I really don't know, but can you see is that? Yeah, that's a person walking. And there is this ridge up there. And we are planning to camp on the ridge for the night.
now guys whenever you're melting ice to get water you need not to melt it completely the moment the ice cube becomes translucent and soft enough then you can i i would prefer rather eating it directly and saving a bit of fuel it is almost like eating water mm. and it is not that cold hmm So guys always put your shoelaces inside otherwise they'll they'll turn they'll become stiff they'll lose this elasticity they'll be like kurkure 12 degrees inside the tent mm. yeah so you can always put a cloth near your feet in your sleeping bag so that your feet stays warm the sun has set we are done with our food and we are ready to sleep good morning so guys this is day 2 at brigu and uh, now we'll just wind up our tent we'll remove it we'll pack everything we'll go to brigu we have wrapped up our campsite and i say this in every single video that whenever you are camping make sure that you follow this leave no trace policy so if someone else is coming you leave the place as beautiful as it was for that individual also right now we don't have much of the sun for ourselves the good part is that uh, the snow or the ice is not going to melt so we can cover a good amount of a distance we'll feel less dehydrated the downside is that it is really really cold It's just leaving this bag here. I don't want to carry this up there. So we'll go just with walking sticks, food, and ice axe. <laughs> Yay! Water source. We carried just one bottle, but now we can drink as much as we want. Trust your feet, trust your grip. Keep an eye sex if you need support. You know, and then you can climb up these steep slopes because right now still the snow is hard. It's not slushy. We have crossed four thousand meters, and still we have got some climb left. And here it is to this beautiful. formations and there are cracks all across this area and it could trigger a shift at any point of time from the down slopes due to the impact of wind you'll see the small snow particles sitting your face it feels amazing but it should not be prolonged <laughs> These lines you can see right 
This is the border of Brigu Lake. Uh, even the apps, maps.me, Strava, they show that Brigu Lake is right here. So guys, the blue dot is our position. <laughs> it took us four hours to reach here from Panduropa. Actually, we didn't camp at Panduropa. We climbed another hill and camp there. And this is the lake. <laughs> no lake. <laughs> so guys, we have started our journey back at 12 in the noon. All the big mountains are now covered with snow and fog and clouds. Oh, what a view it is. I can't see anything. So guys, it took us 1 hour and 45 minutes to come back to the same spot where we left our rucksack. <sighs> So guys, I never did glissade with a big rucksack, but I think this slope allows us to do so. <laughs> Woo -hoo! That is why descents are fun. So guys, the time is 2.40, we have touched down forest, all we have to do is descend now till Vashist. So guys, we encountered the very first bear of our life and you can see the fresh paws of bear. See, they're extremely fresh and I think we should just leave this place as soon as possible. Blow a whistle to make sure that they just go away. So guys, the grass has started turning green, so you can expect that within one month, you'll see these green patches of grass on whole of the meadow and the forest, and then the trekking season for Brigu will start. Yay, so finally, at 5 p.m. in the evening, we have reached Washish Temple, and a beautiful trek thus comes to an end. So guys, if you are liking what you're watching, please, Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And thank you, thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you in another one.